welcome back to Vigor. It is your boy, Stealth Jet, leader of the JSS. Guys, this is going to be my final time trying this with this weapon. I'm going to say it right now. I'm sorry to those of you who love the most Nagant, but this shit's difficult. And it's difficult because, number one... Unless you find a lobby where somebody has an SVU, a PKM, I believe that's it. You're not finding any more ammunition. And number two, if you fire a shot and you miss, you gotta wait about four dark ages before you get another bullet chambered up and ready. And number, uh, what, three? Yeah, number three, there is no scope. Given that this weapon has fantastic iron sights, I'll give it that much. Even though the SKS is better, in my opinion. It's difficult. It's very difficult to aim at range. And the fourth and final thing I'm going to bitch about. I don't know the bullet drop on this weapon. I haven't used it at all. I only use it to bring out this challenge. You know what I'm saying? I know y'all like seeing me using low tier weapons. I know y'all do. So, I try to give y'all what y'all ask for. However, there comes a time when this quote that I live by comes screaming in the back of my head. Doing the same thing over and over again and expecting the, a different result is known as insanity. So, from our, for the last and final hurrah for this Russian bolt action sniper rifle without a scope, might I add, in this game. Welcome to Restricted Freedom with a Molson Nagant. Now, I know it has been a while since I explained what the, what the Restricted Freedom Protocol is. Protocol, challenge, setting, whatever you want to call it, I'm going to explain it to you. So, let me start with the name. Why do I call it Restricted Freedom? Well, it boils down to... That's a gal. And something else as well. It boils down to psychology. You see, when you have the ability to do something, you're more likely to do it. When you have money you're more likely to spend money. But when you don't have money, you don't spend money. Know what I'm saying? Now, how does that tie in to the game? Well, think about it like this. Ammunition is money. As I hear somebody right there. Ammunition is money. When you don't have any money, you don't spend money. When you don't have ammunition, you don't shoot with ammunition. You know what I'm saying? You don't have the freedom to get into any gunfights. It's restricted. You only shoot for the head, and that's it. Now, why do I take out only four rounds? Because, in my opinion, once you become a threat, you get the hell out of there. Because, and this is another quote that I said from before, let's say you do get a threat and you get greedy. You get greedy and try to go for a fifth kill. What if that fifth kill kills you? You just made a sandwich without a top piece of bread. Yeah, you became a threat. Hurrah, hurrah. But did you survive? No, you didn't. Now, I get that there are some players out there, out here that don't really care about survival rate. And if you get a threat and that's all I really care about, good for you. As long as you enjoy the game, partner. 
But me, I like to put a lid on everything I do and all the and all my encounters. What do I mean by that? I like to survive. So once I get four headshots, because they're going to be headshots, you can't hit somebody in the chest and kill them unless you have an M82. You're not going to kill them. And you only got four bullets. You know what I'm saying? So with this Molson, like I said from before, it's really hard to do this challenge because, number one, you're not going to find any more ammunition. And I should probably touch on that too. That's an AKM. And you see right here I'm aiming and I'm trying to find out where's the guy at. Because where I'm at right now is a perfect spot to shoot anybody going for that detector. But then I fuck up because I'm going down here now. And I'm like, shit, let me get back up here. If you find more ammunition, don't reload. You still only use the four bullets. Or in this case, three, because you killed somebody. Now, if you fire the rest of the bullets in your mag, or in your weapon, not your mag, but your weapon, and you reload, you failed. And then you go and play it again like how you usually play it. But what inspired me to make this challenge up? The regular Outlander community. What do I mean by that? You see, there's a certain mentality that differs me from everybody else. If I see you, I'm going to shoot you one time to kill you. And it's probably going to be in your head. Random players in this game, as soon as they see you, they will unload an entire clip at you to hit you about three times. You see, I believe that people will shoot at you to chip away at your health by hitting you multiple times. If I shoot you, it's to hit you one time. You see the difference? The more ammunition I bring, like how y'all see in my HBRT videos, I take out three clips of ammunition. I have the freedom to get into a gunfight. But with this challenge, I don't because I don't have any ammunition. Hence the name, Restricted Freedom. And also, it adds a bit of a uh, tension as well. Because you know, as soon as you miss a shot, you ask going to get hunted, and you don't got any ammunition. Now if you find a secondary, I mean it's all well and good, as long as you, as long as you survive. However, try not to use it. Try not to use a secondary. Because the whole point of this challenge is, is to get you more versed and more skilled with the weapon that you restricted. You know what I'm saying? But if you fire off all four shots really nearly trying to hit somebody and you don't have any ammunition left, you, you kind of messed up, partner. You kind of messed up. So that's the restricted freedom protocol in a nutshell. You take out four rounds, you shoot four people in the head, you're out of ammunition, you leave. But if you, if you pick up a secondary and you're like, bruh, I want a fifth kill, go right ahead. That's up to you. But, I mean, hey, you make up your own challenges in the game as long as, you, as, as long as you are having fun with it, you know? As long as you are having fun. So, let's talk about this encounter. A lot of shit has went down. Some shots, some car alarms. And now all of a sudden it's calmed down. It's games like these where you hear a whole lot of shots at the very beginning and then nothing toward the middle. It usually means, I want to say about 7 out of 10 times, that everybody died and it's you and about 2 if not 3 people left. And those 2 or 3 people probably have killed everybody. There's always that one bastard that seems to find somebody else and tries to shoot at them. You know what I'm saying? So how I play the game, I use it. I use my audio to my advantage. I point my camera directly where I hear the sound coming from, and I run straight to it, while also keeping an eye out for my surroundings. Even though I'm walking straight toward where I hear the gunshots, I'm still looking around. 
And I don't know why there's a random ass alarm trap going on behind me. Or going off behind me, rather. But I'm not worried about that. What I'm worried about is this guy up here. Because he's going to do either one or, well, one or three different things. And that's the last thing I was going to say. Go for that detector. So now I know he's here, right? And I'm going to try to get into a good firing spot before he uses the detector. What I learned is that you don't fire early. You wait for them to check their map. And all I'm doing right now is I'm waiting for him to use it. And I see him. You Y'all see that, right? But he gets beat to the punch by somebody who was climbing up the hill already. Plot twists are endless in this fucking game. I see him. I see him. I don't see him. Is he going to get on one knee to use a detector? It'll be nice. There he is right there. Damn. He used it while he was prone. No headshot. Now, you're screaming at me. Jet, you got an M16, brother. I know. But, what hits harder? A Molson in the chest or a three rounds from an M16? Also, that guy has a whole LMG. Also, was he shooting at me? Yeah, shit's still going on. It's crazy out here. This is Vigor in a nutshell, to be honest with you. So, knowing that I'm outgunned, because we've seen what that LMG did to that poor soul, that sweaty soul, who was going to use the detector, I only have a three-round burst assault rifle and a single-shot rifle in general. Unless I sneak up on him, I'm not going to get him. But, it seems like there's some auto turrets on this hill. Or a auto turret, rather. An auto turret. And I'm like, hmm. If he fired like that, bursty, he's probably on one knee. Because if you're prone, you're going to hold down a trigger. Because you've got that accuracy, you know what I'm saying? Then I see this obvious behind red flag that is his dead body right here. And I'm like, is he still nearby? Because we heard him fire, but I didn't hear any, like, moans of death. And there goes the LMG firing at somebody else. And I think I'm chasing the guy down. I think I'm going along his path. You see, there are plenty of methods you could use to play this game. You can play it like it's like the tip of the iceberg and then shoot everybody that you see. Or, you can try to apply some thought to the game. And hunt people down based off of their own actions. Now, whoever is using the detector this time, I have no idea who it is. Unless it's the exact same dude with the exact same LMG, which I can't even see from this far away. Thank you, Leaves. I don't see him. And even if I did see him, I don't got the bullet drop knowledge enough to hit him in the head from that far away. And here's another thing, too, about this challenge that, uh, test your limits. Test your, uh, your chest, so to say. If you fire and you miss and you hit body armor, all you did was piss that guy off. <laughs> That's all you did. You didn't kill him. You know what I'm saying? So, headshot or no shot. Unless you're the kind of person who takes two shots to the chest instead of one shot to the head. Then yeah, you can get two kills with any weapon, really. Assuming it has powerful enough ammunition. But you're walking out with two kills instead of your potential four if you aim for the head. You know what I'm saying? So, I kind of do want to get this LMG guy because uh, I kind of don't like him. I don't know who he is. I just don't like his presence in the lobby. And I'm up here looking down at the detector area. And again, I don't see shit. Where is he at? Maybe it's time for me to go. Yeah, maybe it's time for me to go. The number one killer in Vigor, in my opinion, and I made like three videos on the subject matter, is greed. 
if you push too hard in anything you do and you die for it, you got nobody to blame but yourself. If you're on three kills and you try to go for the fourth kill because you see somebody out in the open and you drop and you try to shoot with your AKM and then like you don't kill him and now then y'all get into a gunfight and he kills you, guess what? That was your fault. Just because you can does not mean you should. Just because you got ammunition don't mean you gotta spray willy nilly and get excited because you see somebody and you think, oh, skull and crossbones at the top of my screen. I know, I've been there too. It's it's a very enjoyable thing. But if you're anything like me and you wanna survive and damn actually enjoy the game and not die all the time, think before you act. Just because you can doesn't mean that you have to. And so, knowing that I didn't find the LMG guy, and the airdrop is gone already, that may be a sign of him celebrating his, uh, his departure. But I celebrate mine just for looking at this screen right here. The screen that says, you survived. And that's all I really care about. But like I said, folks, this is the last time I'm doing this challenge. It's hard to find more ammunition. It's hard to shoot at a distance with this weapon because, well, for me personally, because I don't know the bullet drop. And if you miss, you can't fire immediately once again. You gotta rechamber. You know what I'm saying? It's a good weapon. I've seen it being used by other people. It's a good weapon. It's just not for me. I hope y'all have enjoyed this episode and I'll be sure to catch you in the next one. Until next time, peace.